Okay, hello everybody. Are you here? Are you excited for this? Okay, so I'm sharing my screen and I'm talking now. Lah, huh? So let's start off with an audio and visual check. If you can see me and you can hear my voice, type good, okay? G-O-O-D, type good in the chat. Fantastic. Wow, I see a lot of familiar people, familiar names. Victor, Dave, KH, DC, Richard, FS. Okay, good, good, good that you can hear me, you can see me. Now, I have a small, small favor to ask from you guys, okay? Now, this small favor, right, is very simple. If you are watching this on mobile, right, please switch to your laptop or your tablet. This is because I'll be showing charts. I'll be showing you charts. I'll be running you through what I'm, what I'm thinking, what I'm looking at. I'll analyze them for you also. So if you are looking at your, if you're watching this webinar and you're using your mobile phone, right? It will be too tiny. All right. Okay. So if you are using your phone, quick, 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 go grab your second device, right? Your, your laptop or your tablet. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to be here. I'm very happy and honored to be able to conduct this webinar. You know why? Two weeks ago, I was away for reservists. And in between, I felt so sick. You know? I, I had fever. I had flu. Right? My nose was like leaking non-stop. And then I had a bad throat. So I thought, wow, jialat. is this my second round of COVID? <laughs> but I went to test. Nothing wrong. Everything is good. But, and so this sore throat right, evolved into voicelessness. I lost my voice uh, for one whole week. Right? So there are some clients that I need to call, but I couldn't call. I had to ask Jeremy and a few others to call. Oh yeah, talking about that, right? Jeremy, myself, and Shermaine, we are bringing this webinar to you. Okay, so please, please help me welcome them also. Say hello, Jeremy. Hello, Shermaine. All right. They are working quietly but uh, hard in the background to get this, to make this a successful and smooth webinar. All right. Type hello, Jeremy and Shermaine. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's acknowledge them. They are the silent workers behind, behind the scenes. Okay. So now that you have grabbed your laptop, you have grabbed your tablet, let's proceed. All right, so today's title, which two sectors are likely to rise in this volatile environment, right? I'm sure you want to know which two these two sectors are and what opportunities we can spot, all right? But of course, before we begin, we have to get, tell you a disclaimer, right? This is just meant for educational purpose. These are trade ideas. These are not trade calls, all right? So please, please, please do not mistake. Uh, the things that, that is shared here as a buy or sell call. Is that okay for everybody? If that's okay, type okay in the chat for me. Let's keep this energy high going, all right? Great, awesome. Victor, Richard, Dave, Susan, Sterling, MH Chua, right? Type okay, okay? You must acknowledge this, very important. If not, I cannot carry on. Or you have to leave this <laughs> webinar, okay? Okay, great. Now, if you don't know, right, the guy on the right, this is me, okay? This is my wife and our friends. Okay, who knows, who can recognize this place? Any Malaysians here, can you recognize this place? If you can, type me. Okay, if you can, type me. Wow, Edwin, okay, perfect. Are you a Malaysian or are you Singaporean? <laughs> Okay, so this is this uh, behind us, right? Is Mount Kinabalu, okay, the tallest, the highest mountain in Southeast Asia, okay, about I think two km tall above above sea level. Now, why am I sharing this? It's not to show you my holiday in last year. No, the purpose of showing you this, right, is to help you visualize, help you understand something. Now, how many of you has 
how many of you have gone hiking before? Type me in the chat. Have you gone hiking? Right. No need to climb mountain uh, like like Mount Kinabalu hiking like in Bukit Timah Hill or Macritchie or in Malaysia, some of the hills. Or in Hong Kong, right? The Dragon Back Hill. Oh, only they go hiking. The rest all prefer the indoors, is it? <laughs> right? When you go hiking, eh, you have to climb up. Sometimes there's up, there are up slopes. Sometimes there are down slopes. And then up slopes again, then down slopes again. Correct, now, Dave? Do you experience this when you went hiking? Sometimes you have to climb up, sometimes down, sometimes up, sometimes down. But usually, yeah, usually, your journey is bringing you to the peak. Correct, now, Dave? Yes, right? Usually, your journey brings you to the peak. Nah. If your journey brings you to a plateau, I think that's not the end of the journey yet. <laughs> okay, so the stock market is also like that. When the stock market is on an uptrend, eh, that means all the stock prices are increasing. It doesn't increase in one straight line up. Okay, there are moments where it drops, then picks up again, drop a bit, picks up again. Okay, if you understand this, type stock, S-T-O-C-K. Okay, great. Great, great. Okay, stock, huh? right? Sometimes it comes, uh, goes up, sometimes it drops down, but overall, it could be on an uptrend. Okay, so why am I sharing this? I, I would like you to understand this, right? That when we say that, oh, this stock is an, in an uptrend, or this sector is an uptrend, uh, it doesn't mean that it cannot drop in price. Okay, uh, can? Okay, now, now is the time for me to know you a bit better. Okay, who's uh who first who is look uh who is listening to me for the very first time? Type one. That means you you haven't seen me on Zoom, you haven't seen me on Facebook, you haven't seen me on Telegram. Right? We have Telegram Live, Telegram Post, and, and Zoom and Facebook Live. Oh, okay. Wow, so many people that haven't seen me before, which is good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Benjamin. I'm from the CFD department in Philip Securities. Okay, now who has seen me before or heard me share in Telegram Live, on Facebook Live, and even on Zoom? Type two for me. I see a few familiar names, lah, so I should expect some tools. Lah, huh? <laughs> right, Victor, Dave, Sterling, Richard, HM. WL, how do you tell a trend has ended? Okay, good, good. Let's keep it to the end, okay? And if I forget to address this question, please type in the chat again. Okay. Linda, heard but haven't seen me live before. Okay, here I am, okay? You can also see my photo here. <laughs> okay, so enough of chit chat. Let's take a look at the two sectors, all right? Now, before you understand, before I share the two sectors with you guys, right? I would like to let you know that the US stock market is actually made up of 11 sectors altogether, 11. Can you type the number 11 in the chat to help you remember? All right. How many sectors are there? 11. Okay, lovely, lovely. Lovely. So this is the most updated one. I got it this afternoon, right? When the US market was closed. It is still closed now, all right? So the first one, can you see where my cursor is? Energy. Okay. Energy, you have consumer discretionary, you have financials, communication services, materials, industrials, technology, healthcare, consumer staples, real estate, and utilities. Okay. Later, I will share with you the ticker symbol for this ETS. Okay. So far, so good. If this pace is okay, you understand and you are liking it so far, type okay for me. So I know everything is good at your end. Okay, yeah, good. So who wants to make a guess? Which two sectors am I going to share about? Which two sectors do you think I'm going to share about with you right now? Type it in the chat. Which two? 
financials. Nice. Technology. Technology. Any others? XLK, XLC, technology and communications. Healthcare, technology, IT and consumer. Wow, a lot of you got it correct. Leh. I'm going to talk about, oh, Susan says industrial. Okay, I'm going to talk about technology. All right. And consumer discretionary. Okay, so if you, if you know which two I'm going to talk about, type tech, T-E-C-H, and type uh, D-I-S. Discretionary DIS. Okay. Type tech T E C H and DIS. Right. This is to help you remember. So later when you go back, right, you know, oh, today Ben shared with you about technology and consumer discretionary. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if you want to take a screenshot, go ahead. <laughs> Can I? Uh? Okay, so let's jump straight in. Now, if you, are, if you have attended our Telegram live sessions or our webinars before, you'll know that I like to look at the broad US market first. Okay, and I would like to use the uh, S&P 500 futures. Okay, can you see this? Futures. Now, why, why do I choose to use the S&P 500 futures instead of the S&P 500 ETF? Okay, here's a simple explanation. Long story short, futures is moving 24, almost 24 hours, five days a week. Okay, except for public holidays and weekends. Okay, this means that we get a lot of price information. A lot of, we can have, we can evaluate the sentiment, right? During the Asian hours, during Singapore's daytime, during the European hours in the afternoon, uh, it, is, it will be afternoon in Singapore, about 3 plus 4, okay? All the way to at night, which is the US hours, okay? If this is okay and clear for you, type futures for me in the comments. Futures, okay? To acknowledge that you know that I'm looking at the S&P 500 futures and you understand the reasons why I use it. Okay, good, huh? good, good. Good, thank you so much. Okay, so when we look at the S and P five hundred futures, let me zoom to zoom out to last year. So two thousand twenty two started very high at the peak, and it dropped all the way down because of rising inflation, uh, rising inflation, rising interest rates, and the war in Europe. Okay, three three main reasons: war in Europe, rising inflation, therefore rising interest rates. All right, and it bought, it found a bottom somewhere in October last year, right? And it has been on an uptrend since. Can you see these pink dotted lines? Let me remove the downtrend lines, huh? so you won't get confused. Can you see these pink trend lines? If you can see, type up UP because these are uptrend lines. Can I can see a fantastic. Fantastic. And if you are in our Telegram channel, I believe I shared about this, I think about two days ago, right? You can have a look at it later. I will also share with you the link to join our Telegram channel if you are not inside yet, okay? I shared that, oh, the prices are coming back into the up, up uh, come back, coming back above the uptrend line and the uptrend should resume, okay? The uptrend should resume. So, if the uptrend should resume, do you think you should be looking for buying or selling opportunities? Should you be looking to go long to accumulate or should you be looking to reduce or go short? Can you share with me in the chat? Okay, Lina say buy. Susan say long. MH says buy. Sterling say buy. Dave also say buy. Okay, what about the rest? <laughs> right? When prices are increasing, should you be looking to buy to accumulate or should you be looking to reduce and sell or short? Victor says short. Richard says long. Okay. Uh, this is my belief, all right? This is my belief. We should follow the trend. Okay, so when prices are in an uptrend, 
we look for buying or accumulating uh, opportunities opportunities to accumulate okay because this is a new and fresh uptrend it is not a very long and established one uh, which may tip over into a downtrend soon anytime soon okay if this is clear for for you type clear in the chat rsi turning down not really lah yeah can you see let me drag uh, magnify it so this purple line right is rsi the rsi is still heading higher lah meaning that there's momentum is still building up all right okay uh, so far okay uh. okay linda is asking what is the future sticker code es1 exclamation let me type it in the chat also okay okay uh, so far clear uh. okay so just now i shared with you that i'm looking at technology right i'm also looking at consumer discretionary so let's start with the more glamorous more exciting one first technology all right okay now i purposely remove everything because i want to go through the whole process with you so that you can catch my thought process you can see me see how i apply it right and you can gain confidence in applying also all right now those who have been following me or who have been attending our telegram live sessions our webinars what is the framework we always use starts with letter s can you type it in the comments for me i think they should should know richard should know because you guys have been following us for the longest time dave correct stars stars okay let me write it down for you for everybody stars now what what stars is an acronym lah. so what exactly is stars okay what exactly does, does this acronym um, represent support and resistance okay t trend line all right a a t r indicator r is r s i indicator and s is sentiment sentiment of the market all right so those who are new to us welcome today you learn something new all right the stars framework okay of course i'll be explaining a bit lah, oh, but if you want to truly understand what the stars framework is how did it come about later i will share with you how you can join our telegram channel and watch the recordings we have about like what 50 about 50 video recordings like power pack all for you guys free of charge some more okay if you think that's good type good in the comments for me very good <laughs> thank you mh okay I, I i guess that you guys have been benefiting from all those right that's why you dare to type good yes thank you very much thank you for acknowledging our hard work also okay terrific wow wow what wow. thank you so so much okay now so we talk about support and resistance first right so let's let's identify some support and resistance zone all right okay remember that for for technology and for consumer discretionary we are looking at maybe a one month holding period maybe a one month holding period meaning uh, that if you were to enter today okay uh, you can consider holding them or holding the sectors right either technology or consumer discretionary until probably late May, uh, sorry, late April, late April, okay? So if you understand this, type April for me in the comments. Chat, comments, chat, comments, chat. <laughs> chat, yeah. Okay, if you understand the time frame uh, of the horizon of this trade, uh, type April, okay? 
because it should last you until end of April. And, and remember, this is not a trade call or not a confirmed thing. Eh? This is just sharing of ideas. All right. Wow, so few people understand. Eh? <laughs> Come on, guys. You need to understand and respond to me so that I know. I know that I'm communicating clearly with you guys. Okay. It is my responsibility to let you know also how long you should be looking to trade this for or to hold this trade for. Okay. April, April, wonderful. As such, right, I won't zoom, I won't zoom out all the way and just so far to draw my support and resistance lines. Okay, I'll just probably zoom into the last two years and I'll plot my resistance, support and resistance lines. Okay, so you watch my eyes movement, okay? I'm I have two screens here. I'm the chart, the screen that you're looking at is the one on my right. Okay. My eyeballs are screening from the left from the left, where you can see the cursor, to the right. Okay, so precedence is always given to the older price levels. Okay, so yeah, I see a level of resistance somewhere here. If I extend it out, looks, looks good. Okay, now let's go higher. Let's see where the next level is roughly. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay, from the left to the right, somewhere here. From the left to the right again, somewhere here. And maybe one more, somewhere here. Okay, okay, now let me zoom in. So now let's take a look at the second, the second component, right? Trend line. Now we all know that before, 2022, right? It has been on a super massive uptrend. Can you see this? If you can, if you can see this uptrend, type up for me. UP up. Can I? You all know how to identify, right? Aga aga. No need to be so exact or precise. Eh? Prices are just climbing, climbing, climbing non stop. Okay? Up. Good, good, good. However, things change, right? In two, from 2022 onwards, here where my cursor is, all the way to October 2022. Okay, what, what do you think this trend is? Up, down, or sideways? Type up if you think it's up, down if you think it's down. From here, January, all the way to October. Down, right? Good. This tells me that you know how to read a trend. Perfect. Now, from October last year to now, currently, where we are, is this an uptrend, downtrend, sideways? Type it in the comment, uh, type it in the chat for me. Victor says up. Dave also says up. Wow, wow, wow. Good. So, actually, you don't need to, I don't need to teach you. Really. <laughs> you all know how to read the trend. You all know a lot of things already. <laughs> Okay, nevertheless, I'll still share, okay? For those who are attending, who is attending our lesson for the very first time, <laughs> so good, <laughs> you are laughing alongside me. Thank you, thank you. The rest all don't laugh one. <laughs> no need to be so serious, huh? You know, my, my style, very candid, very um, informal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not a sufu. We all learn from each other, all right? Okay, so can we draw an uptrend line? Uh, that's the question, right? Let's attempt. Let me try. Hmm, maybe let me clone this up. Let me adjust the angle, see if I can get something better, better fitting. Now let me remove this. Okay, so you see a drawing of trend line, right? Is a bit of an art, a bit of a science. So, oh my gosh, what am I doing? A bit of an art, a bit of a science. So it means that you just need to practice. All right. Yeah, somewhere here. Huh. Victor, how to put stop loss by looking at the ATR? Very good question. I intend to come into that later. Okay, Victor, please hold your question. Eh? And if I forget, please copy and paste your question again. Okay. 
yeah, can you see? These two uptrend lines, uh, I think it's, they are quite good. Why? First, we have multiple touch areas or touch points. Let me bring this down a bit more. Okay, here. Can you see this? I zoom in a bit more. Eh? Here, can you see this? One touch area, two touch area, three touch area, four touch area, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, if I clone it and bring it to the bottom, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you see? So if you can see that this is a good trend line, type good for me in the, in the chat. Right, if you agree that this is a good trend line, type good. Wow, Victor, all in caps, good. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So now we all agree that these are good trend lines. Now, so the next one is ATR indicator, right? Yeah, so ATR indicator, share, uh, it, can tell, it can tell you a few things. The first thing the ATR indicator can tell you is the volatility. Okay, can you type V to remind yourself volatility, V. Okay, the letter V, volatility. The next thing the ATR indicator can tell you, okay, is the range, the volatility, right? Therefore, you infer and you put your stop loss a few in, in multiples of ATR. If you are buying a stock, put it below. If you are shorting a stock, put it above. Okay, so you measure an appropriate multiple of ATR and you put set it as your stop loss accordingly. Clear? So for example, now let me share with you what I see. Eh? Okay, ATR, so far, so good. Later, we'll come and touch up, up on it again. Okay. So now we take a look at the next one. Uh. We skip ATR for a while. Uh. Go to next one, RSI. Okay, RSI is this purple one. Can you see this purple one? The line and the zone. Okay. So now, for those who are in our Telegram channel, who are familiar with us, can you see the number here? 63. Do you think this is near the high side or near the neutral side or near the low side? High, neutral or low? Can you type it in the chat for us? Susan MH say hi. Liu Wei Liang says near the overboard, correct. That means high. Yes, correct. So, wow, you guys are really good, right? The reading is, the value is on the near the high side, right? So what does it mean? It means that uh, maybe uh, today or tomorrow, or maybe Friday, today, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, or even probably next week, uh, anytime soon, uh, the price could come down. Okay, the price could come down. Clear? So this is what we can infer from the RSI indicator. So far, there's no divergence. It is very good, very healthy, but it could go up a bit more before coming down. So what can you truly infer? You, you can infer that if you think that now is a good time to buy, uh, I think you can think twice. Uh, right? I would rather wait for it to come down, bounce off somewhere this uh, support zone at about 142. Okay, now let me draw, draw the action out for you, the, sim the possible action. It could go up higher a bit more before coming down to about 142 and bouncing off. Okay, this is what I think may happen, should happen, not should, not, may happen. Okay, then bounce to where? Eh? Bounce to about 148, lah, the next resistance area over here. Okay, so I need to emphasize the lines that I draw are not absolute price levels. They are actually price areas or price zones okay if this is clear for you type zone z o n e in the chat okay okay hold your questions i see them i will i will get to them later all right zone okay z o n e fantastic okay so uh king sim sing how to set the atr indicator parameters in trading view very simple here click on settings you can change, okay? 
but I use the default lah because the, I, I, to me, the default is good enough. Okay. Okay, now Liu Wei Leong is asking, can you explain what do you mean by divergence? Okay, this one, maybe not now, but I can always talk about it in the Telegram channel. Is that okay? Because when I see it, right, I will always share it with you. Right? Who, who is in the Telegram channel and who remembers that I shared about divergence? I think maybe two weeks ago when I saw it. Do you remember? Uh, who remembers? If you, if you remember, type me. Yeah, Victor, MH, Dave. Okay, so don't worry. When, when we see a divergence, we'll shout it out. We'll identify it. And slowly, you'll, you'll, you'll learn how to spot it by yourself. Right? You see, a lot of them, they, they, all, they are very skilled already. They can tell me, oh, this is a support level. Yes, I see the trend line. <laughs> okay. Let me see what's the next question. Linda is asking, is it usually buy only when RSI is below 40 or 30? Okay, RSI, you cannot just use it alone. You must compare it with the trend, right? You must compare it with the sentiment, right? Therefore, the whole framework is called STARS, not just RSI. Okay, RSI is just one of the components to help you decide or determine whether you should be buying it now or you can actually afford to hold to, to be a bit more patient to wait. Okay, Linda? Okay, let me know if that is clear, then I'll proceed. Okay, so like what I shared with you, the, the plan, I think it, it, sh it should go up, come down, and before bouncing off. Now, then you'll be asking me, hey, Ben, where, where are you looking to to enter the trade. Okay, again, this is my opinion, all right? Not a buy call, not a sell call, okay? Can I? If you understand, type can. If you agree and you understand, type can. If you do not agree, sorry, then you got to leave the room. <laughs> can I? Okay, perfect. You guys are doing great. You guys are giving me a lot of energy also. Okay, let me find the tool where is the arrow to ah, here. Let me find it. Huh? Where is it? Okay, let's let's use this. I'll be looking for entry somewhere here. After the price has come down. Okay, bounce above, above the support area. Let me find that. I remember I saw it somewhere here. Why isn't it here now? No, 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 no. Okay, trading view decided to update something. Okay, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so far okay. If okay, type uh type T E C H T E C H. Oh yes, yes. So the ATR, right? Where, where should your stop loss be? If you enter here, your ATR, let's say it's about 2.8, right? Let's take a three times ATR. Okay. So for for simplicity, we round this up to three, three times three, which means that your stop loss is going to be nine dollars. $9 below your entry price here. Okay. So $9, 142, let's say you enter about 142 minus $9, that would be about 133, somewhere here. Lah. Let me change color so you can see. No, pink is not so ah, red. Okay, let's use red. Somewhere here, your stop loss will be somewhere here. We take a three times ATR and we minus it down. So this is where you can place your stop loss. Okay, now your take profit is, or rather my, what I'm thinking is the trade pro take profit can be around here. Let me put a line, turn it into green, change it into green. 
yeah, about 148. All right, so from 142 to 148, that will be $6. Your risk is about $9. I think still acceptable. Okay, so Ivan is saying three times ATR is too much. Okay, so if you think that is too far, right? You use 2.5 times no? or two times. Why I, why I, why I advise three times now right? in this period right? is because the market is more volatile. Okay, more volatile. Then you say, ah, Ben, but if I lose, I lose, uh, I lose nine dollars. If I make, I make six plus dollars. Yeah, sure. So you instead of buying, okay, instead of putting hundred percent of your allocated capital right into this technology technology ETF, all right, you can put maybe sixty percent, which means that you reduce your trade size. Okay, so let me use numbers. Let me use numbers. Let's say you you wanted to allocate ten thousand US dollars into the technology ETF. Okay, the technology sector. But you know because it's very volatile now, and you are putting a wider stock loss. Instead of putting ten thousand inside to purchase, you can put in maybe eight thousand or even less than that, six thousand, seven thousand. So you reduce your risk exposure. So. So far, okay. If you understand all this and all this is okay for you, type okay in the com in the chat. <laughs> okay, eh? so there are a few ways lah, to reduce your risk exposure, your market exposure. Okay. So now you see you have your own trading plan. You you have a game plan already. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one because I want to share some bonuses with you. You guys have been doing so good. Okay, so first thing, what do we look out for? S, right? S is support. So let's zoom to maybe two years. Yeah, thereabouts. Let's draw the support areas. Now look left to right, okay? So there's one somewhere here. Let me change it to black. One somewhere here. Another one somewhere here, right? Another one somewhere here. Now below, below, somewhere here. Okay. Now let's look at the trend. So in November 2021, the consumer discretionary sector was became a bit wobbly. Can you see this? Became a bit wobbly, came down, went up, then dropped down all the way already. Okay, so let's see if this downtrend has been broken. Can you see this? Has the downtrend like has the, have prices broken out of its downtrend line and managed to remain outside? Yes or no? Okay, Victor says yes. What about the rest? Can you can you see this? Yes or no? Yes, huh? Good, good. Okay, so, and you can also see that prices are generally heading higher, right? From here, you compare from the starting point from here to here. Okay, so it is, I would see that an uptrend is starting to form. Okay, an uptrend is starting to form. So let me remove this now. Then you'll be thinking, can I draw a trend line? No? Let's see, let's see, yeah. Let's try. You don't try, you never know. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh, something like that. Yeah, I think this is acceptable, right? The angle is acceptable. The angle of ascent, it's not too steep. Yeah, even in the grand scheme of things, this is also acceptable. Okay, so let's try this for now. I know that I've shared with you guys that trend lines work best, right? If you give it at least about six months, at least. Uh. But in this case, I think I, I see something is forming a, a, along these lines, okay? Now, so what is A? A is ATR indicator, right? Okay, so 
now the volatility is slightly lower, right? Lower compared to last time. You see, wow, here the the value, right? If you look to the left, the value is about six, but today the value is about three point three thereabouts. Okay. So we'll we'll revisit the ATR indicator later. Now let's look at the RSI indicator. All right. Let me make it bigger. Okay, can you see the RSI? Eh? The RSI line, is it on the rise or is it rising or dropping? Rising or dropping? Rising, right? Yeah, what does this signify then? It signifies rising momentum also, right? Rising momentum. So if you are a driver, you are actually stepping on an accelerator, continuing to step on an accelerator. So is it a good sign? Do you think it's good or, or poor or don't know? <laughs> is this a good sign? They say it's good. Yes, good. Yeah, I think it's also good. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, oh yes, we forgot to talk about the last S, huh? right? The last S is market sentiment. Sentiment. So sentiment means uh, you, you just look at this whole area. Are there more green candles or more red candles? So at a glance here, here to here, more green or more red? Are there more green or more red arrows? Uh, or arrows, candles. <laughs> okay, type G if it's green, type red if you think it's red, uh, type R if you think it's red. G, 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 right? Yes, green. So you can tell roughly that from here you can infer that the market is optimistic. Market market participants are optimistic, right? Okay. So now everything, okay, now you know everything really. You got the support and resistance zones plotted out. You have the trend line plotted out. Okay. ATR, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. You have inferred the RSI, right? It's climbing, it is the momentum is growing, and you have talked about the market sentiment. It is bullish. Okay, now let's look for potential entry point. Okay, and the potential price action. I think it still has some way to go. Okay, before doing a pullback, maybe I don't know if it's going to be that deep. I think maybe not. Okay, maybe until somewhere here before finally reaching the top at about 154. Okay. Now you see, uh, there's a minor resistance here. Uh. Let me draw it out for you. There's a minor resistance here. Let me change it to a dash line. Can you see? Every time the price hits this area, uh, reverse. Hits this area, reverse. Hits this area, reverse. Then come down. Come down here, supported. Come down here, ding dong around this area before going down. Okay, so I suspect uh, maybe not so high it could try to breach this area of about 147 before coming slightly below 147 then eventually heading to 154 okay if you can see what i've just explained type clear okay you can see you can follow type clear good anybody needs a Needs me to repeat or needs me to, to rephrase? Type me. Nobody, huh? all clear. Huh? Very good. You guys learn very fast. Okay, so if this is the price action that I think will be happening, where, where, do you, where would you like to enter? Would you want to enter like now, tonight? Or you, would you want to enter later when the price goes back up above one, four or seven, okay? A means to, tonight you just enter and buy, or B, you wait. Wait where? Here. Here, okay, so here is B, here is A. Okay, they say B, Susan says B, F, S says B. How about the rest? A is tonight. B is at this arrow here. Richard says B. Okay, good. 
The rest, I don't know. <laughs> okay, MH says B. Okay. I prefer lah, huh? I prefer B. I prefer B. Because if you chong and you buy today, it may hit here, come down. It may come down even lower. No? Then we, wow, why is my money stuck with this stock? Okay, so I would prefer it to go up a bit. Uh, go up a I would prefer to wait and enter somewhere here. Okay. Okay, if all is good, type DIS. DIS. This is consumer discretionary, right? Type DIS. Oh, D, yeah. D for Denmark. Okay, DIS. Denmark, Indian, Singapore. Okay, great, great. Okay, I have actually a couple of bonuses for you guys, but time is running out. Are you okay to stay with me for maybe an additional five or 10 minutes? If this is okay, type 10, type 10. So I know that you're okay to stay for another 10 more minutes. Can I? Wow, <laughs> so enthusiastic. Very good, very good. Okay, I share with you. Huh? Let me ask you, would you want me to share one consumer discretionary stock or would you want me to share one technology stock? Okay, if you want me to share technology type, tech. if you want me to share discretionary type, DIS, share both. Huh? <laughs> I only got time for one. Huh? You give me permission for 10 minutes only. Huh? <laughs> If I share both, I think we had, we will only rest at it. We'll go back only at 10 or 11 o'clock. <laughs> both are DIS was Okay, okay. Okay. Since you asked for both, I shall share one each. Okay. Let's do a quick one. Uh, the other bonuses I'll share in our Telegram, Telegram channel. So later I'll share with you how to join us in Telegram and I'll share that. All right. So let's not waste any more time. Share which one first? DIS first. Okay. Okay, copy this down. Eh? S&P S &P Retail ETF. Okay, XRT. Can you type XRT in the chat to help you remember? XRT. Lovely, lovely. Okay, quickly type, quickly type, type ready. Let's take a look at it. Let's analyze. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, let's start. Huh? Let's start with the first S, support and resistance from the left to the right. Right, see I'm repeating myself because these steps are super important and they work. From the left to the right, maybe somewhere here. Yeah from the left to the right, somewhere here. From the left to the right, somewhere here. Okay, and then I think there's one more here. Let me see. Yep, perfect, from the left here to the right, okay? Now, can you tell the trend here, downtrend, right? Very clear, right, downtrend. Now, can you tell the trend here? This area, let me give you a hint. This area. Can you tell the trend? Sideways, up or down? Sideways, right? Wonderful. Wonderful. Let me drink some water. Protect my voice. Yes, sideways. And is the price near the bottom of the range or in the middle or at the, or near the top of the range? Come, let me know. Near the bottom, right? Near the bottom. So when you buy, you want to buy near the bottom, near the middle, or near the top? Bottom, right? <laughs> Why you want to buy the top? Remember McDonald's or not? That time I shared in, I think, October. I, I shared that it, I, I observed this phenomenon, this range, right? And it could, when the price reached somewhere here, you can consider entering. And whoa, really, it hit here and, it, and McDonald's flew all the way to the top. Right? So I think I see something similar here. All right, something similar. Okay, let's uh, give it time and time will tell. 
yeah, so you see it's coming down. It could come down a bit more before going up. But I think uh, it could actually go up from here on. Why? You look at the RSI very from a very low uh, value and now it's climbing up. Can you see? If you can see this type RSI in the chat. Clear for all of you, right? The RSI is, has a really hit the bottom and it's climbing up now. So I suspect, uh, or rather I, I think the price should go up here. Then maybe come down a bit before going up all the way to somewhere the top here, top of the range here. Okay, maybe the top of the range, I don't put so high. Let's be a bit more conservative, maybe somewhere here. Oh, and if I were to project this forward, yeah. Yep, somewhere here. So let's say you enter somewhere here about 62 and you exit at about 72. Wow, that's nearly $10. All right, so where would you put your stop loss? How many, how many multiples of ATR would you use? Would you want to use 2, 2.5 or 3? Okay. Just now I share with you, right? Because the market is more volatile. I would want to put a wider stop loss. So let's use three, okay? Now, can we, can we see the value of the ATR? Right now it's 1.7. So let's say I round it up lah, to two because my math is not very strong. <laughs> you ask me 1.7 times three, I don't know. But you ask me two times three, I know. <laughs> okay, so two times three, six dollars. Ah. All right, six dollars, very simple. $6, so $61 minus $6, about $56, where is $56? Somewhere here. Okay, let me change it to red. This one. And click on it. Okay, so your stop loss should, should you, you be more, you likely place your stop loss here, 56 let me see. Okay, maybe yeah, I place it slightly low, maybe about 55 why? Because if I place it at 56, let me move it back up 56, right? Do you see? It, it, you can get stopped out before it takes off. Okay, so I want to prevent that from happening. I put low, maybe 55 or 54 plus. Okay, who do you understand this rationale? If you do, type uh, yes. Okay, Victor agrees. Okay, good. If you, if you, Understand this rationale, type yes. Okay, so you see, uh, setting a stop loss, uh, planning for your trades, is not so much of a science. Wow, must be two times ATR, three times ATR, cannot be slightly more, cannot be slightly less. We have to take a look at the market conditions. Nah. All right, so, so for this trade, right, you see it's very good. Nah. The, the potential reward is about $10 and the risk, Potential loss is only about $5, $6. Good. Do you think this is good? If you think this is good, type good in the comments. Chat, chat. <laughs> I don't know why I keep mixing chat and comments up. Too many Telegram live and Zoom webinars really. Good, type good, type good. Okay. Okay. Huh? Perfect. Wonderful. Now let's talk about the more glamorous one, uh, technology. Okay, type hack, H-A-C-K. Type it in the chat, H-A-C-K. This is the cyber security ETF. Okay. Cyber security ETF. Okay, Liao Wai Leong is asking, what AS are the stocks? What are the key stocks in this XRT? Okay, that one you can Google. You can Google, you can type in and search component stocks of XRT. All right. Okay, heck, huh? Okay, so first, first thing, same thing, zoom out a bit. Find your support resistance zones. Somewhere here, oh, yeah. change the color. Somewhere here, from the left to the right, somewhere here, maybe slightly lower here. Okay, enough. 
Now let's look at the bottom. Let's look below. Maybe one here. Maybe the next one somewhere here. Okay, you see, quite nice, right? Quite nice, right? Now here, can we do we all agree that it was in a downtrend? Let's draw, let's draw the downtrend line to see if it has broken out of the downtrend. Yes. Okay, can see, right? So now we can conclude that the downtrend line has been broken. It is no longer in a downtrend. Not for now. All right. Now, then what is the current trend? Some people uh, will tell me, oh, it's ranging. Can you see this? It's ranging. But I think uh, it is actually trending higher. Why? Let me draw out the trend line and you see. Ta -da! Do you see this? Let me clone. Wow. What do you think of this? Do you think it's trending or do you think it's going sideways? Yes, higher lows, correct. Right? This is the reference low. This is higher than this. This is higher than this. And this is even higher than this. Right? Trending higher, right? So you see, this is the power of trend lines. It has some predictive uh, capabilities, ability <laughs> that, that if you can spot it, if you are willing to use it, all these are simple, simple, basic technical analysis tools, yet they are so effective. All right. If you use it, right, you can really identify that, hey, how can come up here, drop? Are you over this trend line? Not come up near here, drop. Ah, you know why? First, it's near the trend line. Secondly, you see the RSI so high. Right in the over overbought area seventy something, so you expect it to go higher, maybe like a bit lah, but I think it's more likely to drop, and it did, right? Okay, now let's look at the okay the ATR indicator. We leave it first, huh? We talk about RSI. Is it in the neutral area? Do you think it's in the neutral area? Yes, right neutral area so there's a good possibility of the price going higher or it could drop a bit before going up okay so the rsi can help you to uh, infer or come to a conclusion i think uh, it could go slightly higher before coming down and heading higher to somewhere here okay i think uh, this is my opinion of course it could also go even higher or maybe all the way straight okay now then you have to you have to decide will you want to enter let's say uh, tonight a or you want to enter later after the pullback here b okay you have to decide for yourself okay will you want to enter tonight or will you want to wait for the pullback and bounce up all right Okay, so let's say you wait for the pullback. You want to buy B. Is it a gap up? No, no, this is not a candle. Here, are you talking about here? Here is a gap up. Okay, so if you if you enter here at about 47, now what is the multiple of RSI that you want to use? The RSI value now is 0 0.86. Let's round it up to one. Easier to calculate, right? Okay, three. So let's say we use three. So this is forty-seven dollars minus three. There will be about forty-four. Forty-four. Let's put it here. Turn it. Change it to red. Take it. Okay. So same thing, lah. You see the price. There's a. Uh, candle here, right? So if you want, I think you can shift it slightly lower, to maybe forty-three. Forty-three plus, lah. All right, no, not hard and fast rule. No hard and fast rule here. Okay, I think here would be safe or even maybe 43 itself. Safer. Okay, this one too far away, really, so that is what your stop loss is meant to do. Stop you out when the trade is turning slower. All right. Now, so if you up, if you do this, right, your upside from 47 to 49, that is about $2. Then from 47 to 43 is about $4. So you got to wait. 
and consider, are you willing to risk $2 over here? Oh, no, sorry, $4, okay? Downside is $4, upside, potential upside is about $2. You got to weigh for yourself, okay? So if this is okay, type okay in the chat. Okay, it's 8.36, we, we still have a couple more minutes because you promised to give me 10 or 15 minutes, right? <laughs> okay, uh, good. Uh. Okay, back to my slides. It, sorry, click wrong one. Not share, start show. Okay, so this is a preview of our Telegram channel. We do analysis, right? We do, we share our observations, all right? We share the important market updates and, and dates that you need to pay close attention to, to all right? And we do follow-up sessions, right? This one, yeah, but most importantly, I want to show you the actual Telegram channel. Okay, can you see my Telegram? What happened? Let me see. Ah, okay. Can you see the Telegram channel? If you can see, type yes. Can you see, yeah? Okay, good. So you see, we have polls. We have. Here I share my thoughts about tech, right? If you remember, I think this just yesterday or two days ago, right? A customer, a client asked me about it on Sunday. I shared with him and it is playing according to plan. Yeah. Okay. And I share with you something. Okay? We have Telegram Live and we share the recordings, right? All these are available for anyone and everyone who joins our Telegram channel, okay? Every Friday, usually we conduct Telegram Live. This week don't have, okay? Because this webinar replaces Friday's Telegram Live. All right? Let me show something. Something that Jeremy did. Look at this. Yeah, did you know that all the Wall Street firms, right, did not have a sell rating? Isn't this mind-blowing? Not even SVB, huh? None of them had a sell rating. Okay, in fact, uh, the analysts say buy price target 337. I don't know how they analyze. Uh. Okay, but if you look at the charts, you know that something is fishy. Okay. Yeah, Telegram live sessions. We'll share with you a bit on what we're going to talk about, give you a glimpse. Yeah, you see, we talk about local stocks also, UOB. Right, this is during the SVB saga. Okay, we also talk about OCBC and Minghan shares his indicators so I can, I can use the chart and show you what I see based on his indicators. Right, good, right? You see, we work as a team. I, we are not, I'm not a standalone person. Right, Jeremy contributes ideas, Sam contributes ideas, Minghan contributes uh, with his coding skills, his market analysis skills, and we, we Build upon each other's strength. So if you think this is good stuff, uh, type good in the in the chat for me. What? If you think this is good stuff, type good. Okay. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Awesome, now, Victor. Okay. Yeah, and we we share educational materials. We say, hey, stop loss is very important. Always stay protected. Right, protect your trading capital. And today you learn how to use the ATR indicator to set a good stop loss. Yes, do you learn that? If you learn that, type ATR. Okay. I cannot emphasize the concept of a stop loss. <laughs> I cannot emphasize it anymore because it's you must have, you must have, you must have to protect yourself. Okay, so, wow. Recordings. Okay. 
now your next question is Ben, how to join? <laughs> I want to join this Telegram channel. How? How? Stop talking about it and stop talking about telling me how good it is, showing me how good it is. I want to join. I'm in. Okay, here it is. Okay, scan the QR code or use the link that Jeremy has uh, has put in the chat box. Okay, so Liu Wailong is asking, what does ATR stand for actually? ATR stands for average true rich. Average true rich. Okay. Who okay, who joined already? Type me. Who just joined? Type me. Yes, average true range. You are right. Okay, welcome, Susan. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, Richard. Welcome. Hong Leong. Uh, Hong Hang Leong. Yeah. Liu Wai Leong. Welcome, welcome. Okay. And I have two more bonuses, right? I will share them in Telegram. Okay. So make sure you join. Join our Telegram channel if you are still a bit unsure. Just join. You don't like, you can always leave. No problem. All right. Okay. And we have a promotion. MT5 promotion. MT5 is now made available to all Philip clients. Okay. So if you still do not have a, if you still do not know about this promotion, you can always check it out by scanning the QR code on the screen or clicking on the URL that Jeremy has set up. Okay. This one you, you scan already, leave it on your phone. Okay. You can always read about it later. Then you ask me, hey Ben, I don't even have an account. Eh. I want to uh I want to take part in that promotion, but I don't even have a Philip account. I don't have Poems account. Very simple. Scan the QR code and see that to open an account. I assure you that the account that you are going to open is a low cost brokerage account. Okay, low cost meaning that the commission rates are very competitive, low. And at the same time, if you scan or you click the link, right, when you open this account, your account will be under the care of myself, Jeremy, and my teammates. This means uh, you can always ask us, hey, uh, Ben, Minghan, Jeremy, or whoever, can you please? Uh, explain the STARS framework to me. No problem, because all of us, we know what the STARS framework is. Right? You say, hey, Ben, can you elaborate on HACK, H-A-C-K, right? The cybersecurity ETF. No problem, because I know what you're talking about. Ah, and I can provide you with better dedicated service. Right? So, if you are still not a customer of Philips Securities, you still do not have an account, please, Use the QR code or use the link provided. Okay. Can can I have a show of hands? Type me if you are already a client of Philip Securities. Type me if you have a Poems account. Dave, wonderful. 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 And if you want exclusive webinars, exclusive reports, exclusive insights, we provide them. So if you don't have an account with us, please scan and open an account. Opening an account is free. Okay, you can have a lot of accounts. It doesn't matter. Okay, can I? Serling, me, but no US trading account. Okay, Serling, you, can you drop us an email, right? You can see the email address at the, at the screen, on the screen, right? Drop us an email so I can run checks for you. Okay, let me find out. What, what you need, how I can activate it for you, and how I can contact you. Is that okay, Selin? And if you have any more FAQs, uh, not FAQs, if you have any more queries, you want to find out more, you can always contact us. Okay, take, you, you want to take screenshots also can, then you remember who is Ben, how he looks like. <laughs> or you can remember that there's Mountain Nabalu. All right, okay, can. So guys, I be yes, we have come to the end of the webinar. Thank you for giving me the permission to spend an extra, extra 15 minutes with you guys. I've enjoyed myself thoroughly. Now I'd like to find out some feedback from you. Okay. First, did you find this webinar insightful? If yes, type insightful for me. Insightful. Do you find it insightful? Type insightful if you found it insightful. 
Okay, I need this feedback because it will help my team and I will show it to them as a form of encouragement. All right. Ah, thank you, MH. Yes, Shermin and Jeremy, they are with me now to help out with this webinar. Thank you, thank you. Insightful, right? Next. Wow, Susan, we should have more. I also agree. But, uh, we, okay, I, I also agree. And I love providing, I love doing webinars, even though there's a lot of work to be done. You know, I slept at 2 a.m. on Monday and I slept at 3 a.m. Uh, on Tuesday. This morning. <laughs> this morning, 3 a.m. Okay, And I woke up at about 7. Yeah, just to prepare, to, to have the latest set of data, to work on my presentation, to communicate clearly with you guys. All right, I also want to share a lot more with you guys. So join our Telegram channel also. We have Telegram live sessions and exclusive stuff for you guys. Okay, now the next question or the next feedback I need to get from you guys. Did you find this session valuable? If you found it valuable, type valuable for in the chat. Thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, MH. Thank you, Susan. Dave, Seling, Kang Sim, Blake. Thank you so much, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. HM, valuable, appreciate your hard work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victor, thank you. Uh, Buck, thank you. Okay. TC, thank you. The last feedback. Did you find this webinar actionable? Do you think that you can, you have taken something home and you can act upon it? If it's actionable, type actionable. Type actionable. Serling, appreciate what you did. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much, guys. And girls, actionable. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have one small favor to ask from you guys. Just one tiny favor. Okay, can you go to Philip Capital's Facebook? Okay, I'll, Jeremy. Ah, Jeremy has put the link already. Go to that Facebook post. Type, I find this webinar insightful, valuable, and actionable. Okay, type, I, I found this webinar to be insightful, valuable, and actionable. Okay, type this into the Facebook post that Jeremy has just posted in the chat. Okay. Ken, when you are done, type done. Thank you, Blake. Our team, right? Shermin, Jeremy, myself, Minghan, and, and the rest of us, we are so, so thank you, uh, so, so thankful. And we appreciate all your effort in doing us this small favor. Okay? When you are done, please help me type that. Thank you so much, MH, Susan, Richard. This favor means a lot to us. Okay, maybe Jeremy, you can post the you can post the link again. The Facebook one. So I found this webinar to be insightful, valuable, and actionable. Jeremy can share the link. Yeah. Okay. So once you are done, let's call it the end of today. All right, go and look at the charts, revise, take a look at the four uh, tickers that I share with you, right? Two ETFs, two, eh, two sectors, and two, one stock, one ETF. Thank you so much, KH. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, it's an absolute pleasure to be here sharing with you, spending our time with you, and we appreciate you spending your time with us. Okay, it's our greatest honor. Thank you so much, guys. You mean a lot to us. 
All right. So if if you have any questions, please please contact us. How to contact us? Here, please contact us, and we'll do our, our best to to serve you, to assist you. All right. Good night, guys. Thank you so much, Shermaine and Jeremy, for helping us with this. Shermaine, can you please play the music? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night. Rest well. Huh? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, TC, Dave, Serling, Susan.